Rugby Union scrummaging. Today, just before we get into the video, um, I just wanted to say a massive RIP to all those 130, 140 kg props out there. Um, scrummaging is never going to be the same again. Um, there is going to be some piano music on the video because um, I know how upset this is going to make you. Um, scrums are potentially going. They're potentially, um, you know, they're potentially just just being dissolved or um you know so i just wanted to say you know a massive you know sad sort of message to the props out there who enjoy the the fried eggs who enjoy their full english breakfast who enjoy the sausages and bacon because that's going to be no more they're going to have to start eating salad and lettuce you know, so how how are they going to cope? We need to set up a GoFundMe page for all these props who are now not going to be eating the sausage boys or the bacon butties anymore. Um, so you know, when you when you're eating your bacon butty in the morning, just put you know an RIP message out there for all these props. You know who aren't going to be eating the you know the beans on toast anymore. They're going to have to start eating. Uh, rabbit food so just just think about that before watching this video just think about that for me um, because we need to put a message out there for these props rugby scrums rugby scrums and rugby scrums as you guessed it today we're going to be talking about rugby scrums so rugby union have come out this week and said that they want to have a look at removing scrums so a few ideas have been approached they've looked at um, removing scrums um, completely from the game which would change the dynamics of the game completely it see rugby union push towards a more of a rugby league stance so in rugby union you have these massive massive units the props and the second rows smashing together and their their aim of the game is all about having more weight in the scrub. Now removing the scrub completely would see a push towards more of a rugby league stance where it's more about pace and being fast. So it'd potentially see these big units being uh, disbanded from the game. Now a few things are being looked at. It seems to have come off the back of this COVID-19 outbreak. So there's a few things that the World Health Organization have suggested to um, the Rugby League. So apparently, 13 minutes and 40 seconds are spent in an entire game of 80 minutes um, actually scrummaging, um, which is pretty impressive, but it just it's highlights the need that people, you know, that you need these massive props and these massive sack of rows and the flankers um, to be, you know, these massive units to create more weight within uh, within a scrum. Um, but removing the scrum completely, or you know, not allowing unlimited resets, um, would sort of see these big units be made redundant, and it would see and perhaps change the game to a faster pace. Um, you know, there, there wouldn't be need for these massive props anymore. Because a scrum wouldn't be as important, it wouldn't take up um, just over one eighth of the game. Players like Ben Tim Funa, um, just like in the photo, um, he weighs in at 153 kg. Um, he played in a match um, when Tonga met Wales um, in Cardiff, um, and he, you know, he is an absolute beast the amount of power and weight he has got means that he's going to dominate the scrum um, aspect of rugby but what he isn't going to excel at is um, the line outs or um, you know if a, if a center or um, a flanker or something's running at him who has got a bit of pace you know and um, can sidestep him that's where he's going to struggle because he's just got that much weight and that much power that you know the scrums and then um, the rooks and things when he's clearing out of the rooks um, and making them runs with the ball he's going to excel at because he's such a powerhouse um, you know he's one of the heaviest players 
um, you know, playing at the moment. Um, but you know, removing the the scrum aspect of um, from rugby, um, he's he, you know he's going to affect his, his game massively, um, and it's you know it could be potentially something we're looking at. So a players like Ben going to be made redundant in the future. Um, you know, he, he, like I say, you know, he's one of the biggest parts of rugby, just over one eighth of rugby. Um, you know, is is part of a scrum, and it, 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 without that, is that going to make him redundant? Um, I don't know. It's maybe just something we're just going to have to see if scrums get made redundant. A player's going to like, but like Ben, going to be made redundant. We just don't know. We we don't know what's going to happen with this. So what is it about a scrum that the World Health Organization are actually worried about? What are, what is it they're thinking about before rugby union can recommence? Um, so what they're thinking about is the fluid, um, the sweat, you know, the potential blood that could be passed around within the scrum. You know, having um, you know these absolute units be bound together um, for you know 14 minutes of a game. Um, it's quite a while to have that amount of fluid be passed around and they're, they're worried about the spread of COVID-19 um, being passed around the scrub so this is the, the massive thing that they're thinking about before um, restarting rugby union we're going to be seeing some changes um, and it's looking at rugby union potentially removing the scrums com you know either completely or just you know have if a scrum collapses you know identifying whose fault it is and then having a look at a penalty which would be a massive shame but you've got to consider um the covid outbreak you know um and you know them the ways that it could transmit and prolonged scrums would mean that there's a high risk of covid19 um you know being transmitted so i don't know I don't know, let me know your opinions down below in the comments section. Um, should we be getting rid of scrums completely? Or, you know, what, what sort of things do you think um, the RFU could bring in? Um, is there any anything that you think that could be done differently? Uh, let me know below. Um, I'm pretty interested in this subject. You know, I ru love Rugby Union. Love rugby as a whole. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I just... I. I I don't know if anything could be done differently. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm all ears to hear your, your comments, so let me know below. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel, um, and I'll look forward to making some more videos. Thank you very much.